today I'm going to explain about the electronic power steering system and we will explain about how it assists the driver, why it's, it is used and what are the uh, benefits of it. So if you uh, if you had watched my video about the how the conventional steering works, you will be able to explain. Uh, you will be ex able to learn it much be much better. So I must I will suggest you to watch that video first. Then you can um, better understand this topic. I am giving the link of that video in the description also. You can uh, go through that link. अगर आप ये वीडियो हिंदी में देखना चाहते हैं तो मैं ये वीडियो अगले थर्सडे को हिंदी में भी रिलीज करूँगा आप ये वीडियो तब भी देख सकते हैं so let us talk about uh, first of all the components of the electronic power steering system so first of all there is a steering wheel then there is a steering rod then there is a sensor which uh, senses the torque that is uh, given by you to the steering wheel and uh, and it sends the signal to the ecu then there is a u joint and uh, then you can see the pinion rack and uh, there is a stepper motor uh, the two gears which are mesh when there is a screw nut assembly this gear and uh, this rack are in the uh, are uh, in a screw nut assembly when there is a tie rod and a knuckle and now the wheel the motor used is a stepper motor in this so the basic uh, the basic function that is required for the assistance of the driver is that uh, he just uh, need the assistance in turning the wheel, uh, in turning the steering wheel so uh, there may be many such ways to ease uh, for the ease of the turning of the uh, steering wheel the first of all uh, if you normally attach a uh, electronic motor towards the steering wheel so your hands uh, the torque given by your hands may be assisted by that motor if that motor is turning is also turning the is also trying to turn the steering arm a steering wheel in the same direction in which you are turning so in this way it can be assisted and in another way uh, it may assist in the by displacing the uh, rack by displacing the rack because the main motive is to displace the rack so as to turn so if the motor directly turns the rack uh, displaces the rack then again the motive is completed so uh, this this can also be done so there are two main Uh, 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 two main types of the electronic power steering system is when the motor is uh, uh, giving drive to the st steering rod, or if the motor is giving drive to the rack. So, how it works is uh, when you apply some torque towards the steering wheel, the torque travels uh, through this uh, uh, steering rod, and the sensor over here, the present over here, senses the senses how much torque you are applying to the steering wheel when this torque uh, uh, exceeds a certain limit then uh, the sensor sends a signal to the ecu uh, that uh, the torque is ex ex exceeding the ex exceeding the limit then the ecu sends a signal to the electronic motor and according to the torque applied by the driver the torque is applied uh, by the electronic motor also so the electron when the torque is applied by the electronic motor to the gear, uh, to the meshed gears then uh, the when the electronic motor rotates the stepper motor rotates it rotates this gear also so this screw uh, this gear and this rack are in uh, the screw nut assembly so when this gear rotates the uh, rack will displace as uh, you can see when the in the nut and screw when the nut is rotated the screw will uh, the screw will displace itself so accord uh, so likely over here also when the screw is when the nut is rotated the rack will uh, displace so when the rack displaces then the tie rod is pushed so uh, the torque applied to the steering wheel and the torque applied to the uh, electron motor both of them are working to displace the rack so this uh, in this way the electronic motor assists the uh, torque applied by you towards the uh, for the steering wheel in another in the first method uh, when the uh, when the torque is applied to the steering wheel the torque uh, that travels to the through the steering rod the sensor over here this sensor can be here or here it must be on the steering rod so the sensor over here 
determines uh, how much torque is applied by you it sends the signal to the ecu then you can see uh, motor is over here so uh, it is the steering rod it is the steering rod which is having a gear over it so th this gear is com is in complete mesh with the gear of the stepper motor so and there there is a casing over here which uh, restricts the motion of motor and the uh, steering rod so when the motor is rotated it uh, turns the gear also uh, and then and this is gear is attached to the steering rod hence it also turns the steering rod so when the gear is turning uh, when the ecu turns the uh, sends the signal to motor the motor starts rotating and uh, and the mo the rotation of the motor and the or the torque applied by the motor is is in the relation with the torque applied by the steering uh, applied by the driver on the steering wheel the uh, torque is applied uh, when the torque is applied on the steering wheel by the driver the torque travels towards it and uh, the sensor senses the how much torque uh, is applied by the driver so when the uh, value of the torque exceeds a certain limit then the sensor sends the signal that the torque applied by the driver is exceeding certain limit then ecu sends the signal to the motor that uh, the work of this um, motor starts at this moment when the ecu signal uh, sends the signal towards the motor the motor starts uh, rotating and when the motor starts rotating then uh, since it is completely in mesh with the steering rod which is also having a gear over it and hence it also rotates the steering rod so in this way it uh, it helps in adjusting the steering uh, in it helps in adjusting the driver in in the turning of the steering wheel so when when the steering rod is rotated by the electronic motor or stepper motor and the driver on the steering wheel it uh, both of them combined uh, both both of the efforts combined by the driver and the stepper motor is responsible for the motion of the rack and in this way the electronic motor assists the uh, driver for the for the application of the torque this system is much better than the hydraulic system because the hydraulic system is much messy and this is much easy and in other form the it is fuel efficient because it is not taking direct drive from the engine it is taking drive from the alternator by electronics or battery uh, so it is much efficient than that and uh, by incorporating the electronic stability control the electronic stability control i have made a video on that also i am also giving the link of that video also in the description you must watch that video because uh, it is very much interesting topic you must know about that electronic stability stability control if uh, it is also in incorporated in the electronic power steering then uh, it can instantly vary the torque assist level but then it can it is much easy uh, for the stability of the uh, steering and uh, can uh, and the driver can uh, maneuver correctly in a failure you need to do the work of uh, dis displacing the rack and also turning of the motor because uh, the motor will be always in the mesh with this gear so you have to do much more efforts than a conventional steering at the time of failure so i think this is all about the uh, electronic power steering system if you have any doubt any queries you can ask me in the comment section below if you like my video please share it to your friends so that i can connect to them also if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please go and subscribe my channel at this moment only and uh, thanks a lot guys for watching my video please keep supporting keep watching and keep sharing thanks a lot guys